Well, hey there, everyone. So, this week I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, so I do need to make some more Christmas presents for Christmas. And so this week I'm going to be sewing a present for one of my best friends. Um, so I was trying to think of something to make and I was browsing Pinterest and I came across this image of this really cute like whale shark purse and I was like immediately have to make that because one of our favorite things is sharks. So I had to make that. Um, it is a pattern that you can buy but I kind of just wanted to try it on my own. So we're gonna try that. By the way, if you're watching this, for said person who's getting said gift, turn away now because I don't want any spoilers for your Christmas present. So go go don't watch this <laughs> until after <laughs> anyway so the material that i'm going to be using is actually an old pair of jeans that just recently ripped ripped r.i.p my jeans um and i thought instead of just throwing them away i could use them for something more sustainable and make them into a bag so the first thing that i have to do is i have to create a pattern so i'm basically just going off of the pictures that i've seen um we're gonna wing it <laughs> pretty much uh basically the main thing that i need to do is get the body right so it's just gonna be like shaped kind of like this so that it does curve up because that's what the whale does so and then just like the fins and stuff should be pretty easy and the same with the stomach so the main thing i have to do is get the back right um so i'm gonna go make the pattern and i will meet you back right after that All right, now that the pattern is all made, it is time to start sewing things together. So the first thing I have to do is sew the back fin together so that I can sandwich it inside of the two back pieces so that when it's right side out, the fin is there. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is just lay them on top of each other and then sew around it. And then I just make sure to trim around the edges so I could turn it inside out and it fits right. <laughs> so after I do that, I do the same thing, by the way, with all of the fins. Um, so after I do that, I'm just going to sandwich the back fin um, in where I want it for the back, and I'm going to sew just along that back curve of the two back pieces. And then I will meet you back after that. Alright, now that the back is done, it is time to start sewing together all of the rest of the fins. So I have the two side fins and the back fin. So the two side uh, fins are going to be sewed together the same way as the back fin, the back, the back of the back fin, and then the all the way in the back fin. 
I don't know names um, is going to be sewn together the same way except when I turn it right sides out I'm going to put a little sew line or I guess if the fins like that I'm gonna do a little sew line right here so that when I put a little bit of stuffing in it you can see like the definition of the tail so and then I'm just gonna baste it so that the stuffing can't come out and then we'll meet you back after that Alright, now that the fins are all done, um, I went ahead and I cut out the stomach piece with a, another pair of old jeans that I have, but I'm going to be using the inside of those jeans because I want the stomach to be a lighter color than the outside, so it might look like I'm sewing it together wrong, but I'm not. So the right side is the inside of the jeans for this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the whole back piece to the stomach, but I almost forgot this. I have to sandwich the side fins inside it as well and then I will sew along those two edges. So let's go do that. Okay, now it is time to put the all the way in the back fin in. So basically looking at the photo, it's, so it is up and down um, and it includes some of the stomach piece in it. So I'm just going to put it on in there and then sew a little line closing the end with the tail in. And when I turn it right side out, the tail should be in. So hopefully that works. Okay, now that that is all done, it is time to sew the lining for the bag. So I'm just gonna take some old sheet and I'm going to use the seam pattern for the stomach. So I'm just gonna put that on a fold and cut two, and then that'll give them the pouch for the same size. And I'm trying, I was trying to think of how I could separate the stomach from the back because the back needs to have uh, stuffing in it. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take the lining and I'm gonna sew that to the edges of the stomach. So that kind of acts as a barrier so that I could put stuffing into the back of the shark. Uh, so let's go do that.
Okay, so I may restart. Um, the shark is not quite looking how I wanted it to. Uh, it's just not as long as I was hoping for it to be, and I didn't realize that until it was done. So I think I'm going to restart. Um, I'm going to make a new pattern for it just for the uh, stomach-wise, and I think for the side fins too, because I wasn't too happy with how those were like not curving as well. So I'm going to rip the back fin out and the back back fin out, because I still like those. Um, and I'm going to make the body of this shark just a bit longer because I couldn't even like fit a phone in the last one. So I'm going to make this a bit longer and see if I can match it a little bit better to the picture. So let's see if that works. Okay, so now I'm just going to basically do the same process that I did with the rest of, or with the last one. Um, you know, sewing the back together with the uh, back fin squished in, sewing the stomach to it, which I did also make a new pattern for with the same uh, jeans inside out, um, with the side fin squished in, and then putting the back, back, back fin in, as well as making the new pouch with the new pattern of the stomach and sewing it again to the stomach lining so that I can stuff the shark. Uh, so let's go see that. Okay, now that the shark is all made and stuffed, it is time to do the zipper. So I'm not the greatest at zippers, but I did look up some videos and I wanted to do a receding zipper. So not at the very top, but just like a little bit in. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a strip of fabric. I'm gonna fold it um, so that, you know, sew it like you would like a strap so that there's no like exposed edges. And then I'm going to sew it together so it makes a little circle about the same circumference of the top of the shark. So I'm going to sew that right sides to the top of the shark and then fold it in and then after that I will sew the zipper onto that lip so that when the zipper is closed it is inside of the shark um, and then I'm going to top stitch around that lip too so that it just sits a little better um, and then my zipper will, will be done <laughs> so we'll see if I can manage that. Okay, now that I have my little shark buddy, um, the original didn't have this, but I think that I'm going to paint some dots on it. I was looking at pictures of whale sharks and all of them are covered in polka dots. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll do that because they will look pretty darn cute. So I'm just going to take some acrylic paint and paint some dots. Um, the top's gonna have some like bigger dots. The front near the face is gonna have just like little baby dots cause that's kinda how they have it. And then the back's gonna have like some sparse bigger dots. Um, I know that whale sharks have like a pattern to their dots, but I'm not gonna do that cause I feel like it would look bad if I did it. So I'm just gonna throw some dots on there and then see how it looks after that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, last but not least is the strap for this bag. Um, so basically what I'm going to do for the little um, connectors on the bag is I'm just going to take some tool tape and I'm going to hand sew it on there and those are going to be the loops that the clasps are going to hang on to. And I'm going to make this an adjustable strap. So I have a lot, I have a lot of, of bad jeans in here. So I'm just gonna take a pair of jeans and make some strips out of them so that I can make basically like a bias tape and then sew both ends of it. And I have a big strap. Um, and then I got some hardware for it. So I'm going to make the straps uh, detachable from the bag itself so it can be like a little plushy if you want. Um, and so I got little clips to put on the ends of the strap and then I also got an adjuster. So I'm gonna go do that. So I guess I will see you in the final look. I am so very happy with how this bad boy turned out. I think that my best friend is gonna love this because she loves sharks. And I think it turned out, like honestly, that zipper looks so good. That's better than most things that I've done. So I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. A pretty cute, like adjustable bag. Um, yeah. So I am very excited to wrap this up and give this to her. And I think that she's gonna really enjoy this. So yeah, so next week is going to be a, another gift week um, because it's getting very close to Christmas. Uh, and I think I might have had to change my plans a bit on what I'm going to be making for my sisters. So I am still planning on making the sweater for my twin, but I think I might postpone the sweater for my older sister because she lives in a place where you don't really need a sweater like that, so instead, I think I'm gonna make her something else. So, any hootie do. If you liked what I did, go ahead and like and subscribe. I post most Saturdays, mostly at noon, and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.